Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today, just going to do a short little video for you, but this, I'm going to address a, an issue with, uh, uh, this is a Delta 14 and a half inch drill press. Now, the big issue with Delta is you can't buy parts for them anymore. And, you know, for whatever reason, uh, they just got, they got bought up and then just slowly, slowly just disappeared. They're kind of back now. They've got some tools that you can buy, but there are thousands of these drill presses out there, and every drill press has its issues, and so does this one. Now, one of the common things that's going to happen, and it happens on a lot of drill presses, and this um, this fix I'm going to I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, I think it works for the 16 and a half. 14 and a half, and probably some other ones, I'm not sure. But I just know that uh, this is the most common one that I work on. And one of the big things that happens is your return spring here, I'll give you a close up there in a minute, breaks. So you pull your hand, your handle's gonna drop. So the return spring just pulls the handle up. When you crank it down, it'll just automatically come back up. So that is an issue. It's not an issue if you can buy the parts, but you can't buy any more Delta parts. But I have a solution. Check it out. So this is a, this is a drill press that I have. Um, not sure if it's going to end up as parts or whatever. Might be able to rebuild it. But this is good on this drill press. I've got other drill presses that I have to repair in a couple of the schools. And you just have to release it. Okay. So if yours is broken, you're just going to pull this off. All right. And that's what it looks like. There's a little plate here. And you just got this nice little spring. It's a pretty easy and simple... Uh, mechanism, but here's the solution. So years ago, King bought up all the patents, I think, or the patents just kind of, you know, expired, and King started building uh, drill presses and table saws that were very, very similar to the uh, Delta lineup. So this happens to be a return spring for a King drill press. Now I'm not too sure what size, but it just so happens that it is darn near exactly the same. The holes aren't exact, but they're very, very close and it's gonna work. So basically you just got this, you just slide it into your slot. Let's see where my slot is here and it's gonna work. So then all you do basically is just turn it until you get the right tension that you want. Make sure you're using two hands here. Once you got the right tension, then you just put your, uh, your nut back on here. Typically there's a, a lock, two jam nuts on there. This one only has the one right now, I'll probably change that out. Yeah, and that's, all you have to do to replace that, that spring. But I'm going to go st still stick with my old one here. That's all we're going to use. So there you go. All right, I'm going to give you the part number to this now. Before that, I'm going to show you the, uh, uh, well here, the model number for this particular model is a uh, 17, I can't read that. Holy cow. 17-950L. So 14 and a half inch delta. Now of course, they all don't look exactly like this. This is just this particular year. So there's the there's the fix. And here's the number. This is a king spring. 
It is a 401-5001-010. And I just ordered that from my uh, local uh, um, tool shop and took a couple weeks to get them in. Sometimes King uh, parts are a little tough to find, tough to get, but I got them and they work. So if this is an issue, there's your solution. So I'm a big fan of trying to keep this old equipment going. You know, I fix a lot of equipment all the time and you know, the new stuff that's coming out is just not as good as what the old stuff is. Not even close. So if you have an older uh, piece of equipment that's uh, broken down, by all means, do whatever you have to do to kind of, you know, fix it. Uh, there are ways of getting around, you know, parts that you can't buy. Um, some of these other companies, you know, the parts are pretty close. And there's other issues that can happen with your drill press. I'm hoping to address that in an upcoming uh, video. Um, hopefully I'm able to use another King part for that, but we're going to find out. I'm not there yet, just about. I'm just waiting. It's been a month and a half now, for waiting for that part. Well, maybe even longer than that. Two months I think I've been waiting for that part. But anyway, there are solutions out there, and sometimes even if you have to get a part machined, do whatever it takes to keep your uh, old equipment working. Because when they're working good, it's a good piece of equipment. So anyway, nice and short today. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and uh, we'll catch up to you on the next one.